<clears throat> What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another stock pick of the week. So I just want to apologize for the late video this week and uh, for the fact that I'm probably going to be a little slow putting out videos. I will put out one a week for my stock picks, uh, but my Angola series and my uh, prison industrial complex series is going to be a few, maybe a week or two before I can put out the next video for that one. Uh, I just kind of started doing a new job that is a little more demanding, like so I'm not able to put out as many videos as I want, but at the same time, you know, I will be still putting out the same videos, and I will, and they will, and you will see them. Uh, everything I promised will be coming. Don't worry, guys. Uh, and for this week's stock pick of the week, we are going to be looking at Chiron Life Sciences. So the important thing to notice about this company is that it is a Canadian company, but it is based in Colombia. So the big thing about this company is that it is not focusing on the Canadian market. It is focusing on the Latin American market. And that's a big thing to understand because what is going to be happening in the next couple of years following Canadian the Canadian uh, standard is that all of the countries that have been kind of hurting from the criminalization of cannabis essentially are going to be legalizing and decriminalizing mainly to take power away from the cartels to take power away from the criminal organizations that are peddling these you know so-called illegal illegal substances um, that are now being decriminalized and legalized as they should be uh, so now real actual companies real you know legitimate people if, or some of the legitimate people that are that will inevitably make their way in will be essentially taking control of the me, uh, medical and recreational marijuana markets in Latin America and this is a massive market like one thing I want to just make uh, quickly uh, just go over real quick like understand population sizes if you look at Mexican pop the Mexican population just 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 to be you know specific because this is one country we have you know over 680 million people living in Latin America so that would be every country below Mexico so there's Mexico that's up in the top of the north all the way to Argentina in the south right? so say let's let's say we look at the larger map right and it's gonna go slow of course because I'm doing too many things at once but what we see here is essentially you know the entire market that you're gonna that 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 you know uh, well, come on not gonna go down uh, but anyway yeah so all right it's not gonna show us all of it but but you know what I mean so this whole market go all the way down um, and go all the way down into Argentina so all of South America there it's only showing about half of it uh, you have Brazil there which is one of the most populous countries in the world you know uh, you have oh, there we go there we go so basically everything from Mexico down in uh, so South America Central America um, Mexico Right, so that's in the in the Caribbean islands, um, Jamaica, Haiti, uh, Puerto Rico, all those islands, uh, Dominican Republic. So, what you're going to see is all of these countries begin to legalize. All Jamaica's already done it. Uh, you know, Chile's already done it. Colombia's already done it. Uh, Mexico is doing is is in the process. Well, you know, that's that's kind of up for up for uh, debate. But but more than likely, Mexico is going to be legalizing as well. So what this means is that the market, uh, these 120 million uh, Mexicans that are going to now be able to purchase legal cannabis are going to be able to essentially take the power away from the cartels, take the power away from the criminal organizations that are controlling these markets currently and will be able to place them in the hands of legitimate business owners and uh people that are able to make their way in so there will be some some illegal you know entrepreneurs that are already in place some you know people that have been growing for their whole lives that have just been doing it on their own are now going to be able to sell that product on the market they're they're going to have all the knowledge the skills just like in Canada you know they kept saying how all these a lot of these groups had ties to you know criminal organizations well you know if, if it's been criminalized for you know however many years you know 70 80 years and what are you what are you supposed to do you know how are you gonna um, or I should say over almost 100 years how can you you know do anything how can you learn the skills how can you maintain the skills if you can't 
do the actual you know skill itself so what this means is that you know all of these people are obviously growing illegally for a long time and then they eventually got medical licenses to grow medically and then they eventually got recreation you know today so what you've seen is the gradual process where you essentially it all starts with decriminalization it all starts with like the medical you know where we come in and we say hey let's 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 legalize it for you know medical use and then you have hundreds and hundreds of new companies that open up that say hey you know look at what we're doing let's let's open up the markets let's rec you know open for recreation as well and you will see basically a shift in the way that we look at these markets because the Canadian market you know exploded it, it's 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 a huge market but it's a tiny market that's why everybody's waiting for you know an American US legalization you're talking about Canadian population that has that's 30 million it's 33 you know 30 million so what are you gonna do you know just by just by sheer population right how, how are you gonna compare the two it's a quarter Canada is a quarter of the size of Mexico and Mexico is one country where you have 680 million other uh, you know people living in Latin America so this is huge news this is huge news and what this is uh, just one second So what this what this is signifying sorry about that what this is signifying is that this market share if Mexico legalizes as they say they will and and I'll I'm going to show you uh, a few things here so uh, where are you I thought I had the yeah there it is um so what you're going to see is that these companies, specifically this company that I'm highlighting today, Chiron Life Sciences, which has positioned itself to be the hub for global medical cannabis in the Latin American market. And this is what I'm trying to, you know, show you guys. This company is essentially not only positioning themselves to be the leader in Latin America, they are positioning themselves to control the market and control the access to the market because you got to understand this a lot of these governments are very skeptical they don't want to have a lot of you know a lot of companies coming in because they know that a lot of these might be criminal organizations so they're going to want companies that they can rely on that are respectable and that are lawful ones that will are willing to abide the law to do what is necessary to become a legally traded company and to ensure that your company is you know Take, doing everything you can to not you know break the law to not do illegal activities and, th and that's why I think this company is you know positioned to have a big to have a major major you know chance to control these markets uh, one of the biggest things that just happened with this company is they actually um, brought in Vincente Fox who was the former president of Mexico as one of their board of directors as an ambassador and as an affiliate so what he's doing is he's essentially trying to leverage his political power, his political rhetoric, his political history to weigh in on the situation in the government and to force, well I shouldn't say force, but to push for a solution and for a, you know, further decriminalization, further legalization and, you know, and more, and it just goes on from there, right? Like we see, they get med first. They get medical, then they get recreational, and then the market's open, right? And if you're the first to be in, and if you have these connections to you know former presidents and former uh, members of the staff, and and you know uh, basically representatives and legislators, then what you have is you have the ability to control or at least influence the government, and that is a big big thing to have. And that's why I say this company is important. And not only that, but it's positioned himself to um not only be a cultivating uh leader but also a research and developing leader i don't know these ads always come up but um so essentially what it's what chiron is trying to do is 
it is trying to position itself in Latin America and in South America. So in, both in both in uh, Mexico and in uh, what is it? Chile or sorry, not Chile, um, Colombia. They just they just signed an agreement with Chile as well for distribution. So now they're distributing in Chile, but they have a their main hub in Colombia, and that's where they're going to be. Um, setting up a lot of their operations and they signed an agreement with ILAN labs um, so what ILAN is is uh, it's the Institute of Neurology and the nervous system in Colombia so it is essentially a world-renowned research in Institute that is researching um, the nervous system and, um, and neurology so what they're doing is they're looking at uh, well what this study and the, this partnership is going to be looking at is the impact that cannabis has primarily probably CBD but also THC and the effects that it has on the human brain and that's going to be the main focus of their uh, operations with this uh, partnership so this partnership is not only uh, a research-based partnership but it also gives them access to the hundred thousand patients that are already positioned uh, within this registry and within the island uh, system so they're, they claim it will bring up approximately 10.5 million in gross revenue and 1.8 million in EBI TDA, so uh, audited financial statements. So it's basically just um, like uh, pay off debt, and and like I say, this this positions them as in the perfect position to expand across the Latin American market because they're now connected to one of the most respected institutions, and if they're getting their stamp, you know, on these products then obviously people are going to want these products because they know that they're good they know that they're proven and they know that they have a good research team behind them so that th these are important agreements to look to to uh, look into and then the fact that they're expanding into the Chilean market and you know when you when you see these reports a lot of people are, are talking about uh, how Chiron is is basically you know the, the first company and it's because they are they're they're they basically you know are a Canadian company but they are focused in Colombia and the reason they're focused in Colombia is because they understand that that Colombia you know has this opportunity to be the leading uh, producer in the region and when I have to say that, I mean like Central um, South America and parts of Central America but obviously Mexico is going to be the largest producer once it comes into full uh, production capacity if, if uh, legalization in fact does occur as I've been uh, you know saying earlier but what what I think is going to be more important is if all these Latin American countries end up you know legalizing like I said it's a 680 million dollar market whereas the market in Mexico is only 120 million you know the market in Colombia is only about I think just under 100 million so what you look or maybe maybe it's like sorry maybe it's like 60 million I'm not 100 percent the um, but I know Colombia has a has a pretty pretty large population, um, but countries like Brazil, right? Once Brazil legalizes, like Brazil is a very populous country. Like we're talking millions and millions of people. I think it's way more than Mexico. So we're probably talking like two, three hundred million, you know, probably more, you know. So these are huge markets, and companies like Namaste as well are positioned in these markets uh, with vaporizers and already they're selling, you know. So, so you can see the these networks are in place for other that are that are you know paving the way for companies like Chiron to come in and utilize these partnerships and then to move forward right and be able to reach all of these uh, new potential customers that are going to be basically coming online overnight and are going to be looking for access to this kind of you know cultivation research and product so yeah that's that's kind of what I want what what I wanted to talk about pretty much like I said I'm sorry I haven't been able to put out uh, videos that much lately and that I won't be able to uh, put out videos as, as quickly as I was before but I will be able to continue putting out videos every week like I have been and uh, hopefully you guys stay with me thank you here's the stock price uh, 154 like I said I think uh, that's still cheap like I said when these markets come online like right now it's kind of speculative nobody really knows but if these markets come online you never know you never know. But anyway, that's it for today. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. And uh, it's Revolutionary Road. And I hope you guys are having a good week. And I'll uh, see you guys next week. Have a good one.